If then revelation is requested, it cannot be had. For the act of asking is a statement that it is not there, that nothing of God is now being revealed. Such a statement produces the experience. For your thought about something is creative, and your word is productive, and your thought and your word together are magnificently effective in giving birth to your reality. You will not have that for which you ask, nor can you have anything you want. This is because your very request is a statement of lack, and your saying you want a thing only works to produce that precise experience, wanting in your reality. The correct prayer is therefore never a prayer of supplication, but a prayer of gratitude. When you thank God in advance for that which you choose to experience in your reality, you in effect acknowledge that it is there, in effect. Thankfulness is thus the most powerful statement of God, an affirmation that even before you ask, I have answered. Therefore, never supplicate, but appreciate. Have faith. If you have but the faith of a mustard seed, you shall move mountains. You come to know it is there, because I said it is there, because I said that. Even before you ask, I shall have answered, because I said and have said to you in every conceivable way, through every teacher you can name, that whatsoever you shall choose, choosing it in my name, so shall it be. No prayer. And a prayer is nothing more than a fervent statement of what is so, goes unanswered. Every prayer, every thought, every statement, every feeling is creative. To the degree that it is fervently held as truth, to that degree will it be made manifest in your experience. Yet what you must know, and here is the secret, is that always it is the thought behind the thought, what might be called the sponsoring thought, that is controlling thought. If, therefore, you beg and supplicate, there seems a much smaller chance that you will experience what you think you are choosing, because the sponsoring thought behind every supplication is that you do not now have this. That sponsoring thought becomes your reality. The only sponsoring thought which could override this thought is the thought held in faith that God will grant whatever is asked without fail. Some people have such faith, but very few. The process of prayer becomes much easier when rather than having to believe that God will always say yes to every request, one understands intuitively that the request is not necessary. Then the prayer is a prayer of thanksgiving it is not a request at all, but a statement of gratitude for what is so. And this is the great illusion of man, that the outcome of life is in doubt. It is this doubt about ultimate outcome which has created your grand greatest enemy, which is fear. For if you doubt outcome, then you must doubt your creator. You must doubt God. And if you doubt God, you must live in fear and guilt all your life, if you doubt God's intentions and God's ability to produce this ultimate result, then how can you ever relax? Yet God has full powers to match intentions with results. 